the reductionist mechanistic view of the mind has a rather revealing history, I think, which is that whatever the most advanced technology currently available, uh, the those who seek to mechanistically model the mind immediately seize upon it and announce that the mind is. In the 19th century, the mind was actually conceived of as uh, uh, an intricately wrought piece of uh, uh, technology analogous to the clockmaker's art. And in the 20s, we were told the mind is like a vast telephone exchange. And uh, in the late 20th century, it's all computers and parallel processing and this sort of thing. For us, the mind is um, largely conditioned by the personal past. Uh, the shaman's view of mind is that it is not centered in the human being. Mind is a dimension in which human beings and their uh, environment are embedded. So it isn't a narcissistic uh, model of the mind. It isn't my mind. It is the mind. It is almost, as it were, the invisible part of nature. And so the shaman, by uh, inducing altered states, uh, makes the invisible part of nature slash mind visible to himself, and then he, as a kind of reality engineer, is able to manipulate the field of mind and cure disease, locate lost objects, predict the weather, see where the game has gone. All of the classical functions of shamanism are obtained then in this relationship to mind as field. What happens under the influence of these psychoactive compounds that are products of plant metabolism is that the carefully constructed mental categories and boundaries of social convention and experience dissolve. And the cultural map, which is a linguistic map, is replaced by something most of us haven't known since our infancy, that is the seamless, pre-verbal, feeling-toned continuum of reality out of which every culture constructs its own uh, model and uh, myth. These shaman, what they're doing is they're actually using folk pharmacology to step outside of the culturally constructed myth, whatever it is, and then they are able to, as it were, uh, see the wiring under the board, the wiring of culture, the wiring of familial connections, the way in which disease uh, impinges on the human group. They are, in Merciliad's wonderful phrase, the technicians of the sacred. I think the, the game of understanding, of creating models, is simply that, a game. And out of it come various technologies, you know. Truth is approached entirely differently. Truth is apprehended through feeling and is known by its self-evidence. It isn't an argument that one makes. I mean, let's not lose hold of the fact that we are animals of some sort, advanced primates. The notion that we should be able to reason or intuit our way to God's universal truth is a startlingly parochial idea. It's good mental exercise to make the attempt, but my brother once said a wonderful thing. He said, have you ever noticed how as we build the bonfire of understanding bigger, the sphere of the unknown grows ever larger? <laughs> and a simple way of saying that is, uh, you know, the, the more light there is, the more darkness that is revealed.